Home solar and home battery prices have hit record lows in both the United States and in Australia. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. If we factor in inflation over the past five years, the truth is home solar systems have gone down by more than 60%. Now, if you include if you include as well as that, the improvements in efficiency, I mean, solar panel efficiency now has increased significantly versus where it was at five years ago. Longevity as well, solar panel manufacturers now are offering 25 year, in some cases, 30 year warranties on their panels. If you put all that together, solar is incredibly cheap in both the United States and in Australia, and in fact, in pretty much every country in the world. However, if you've been holding off on going solar, I just had a conversation with uh, a, so a friend from this local swimming club and I said, mate, you've got to get solar. You, you're crazy not to get solar. It is, it is the only logical conclusion unless you like spending money, unless you like, sorry, I should say, unless you like wasting money. According to Energy Sage's new solar and storage marketplace report in the United States, prices for both home solar and solar plus a battery reached record lows in the second half of 2024. Energy Sage, an online solar shopping marketplace, analyzed millions of quotes from installers across the US in its 20th semi-annual report. The data covers January through December 2024 and shows a detailed look at what homeowners pay for solar panels, batteries, inverters, and more. The median price for solar-only systems dropped to $2.00 and 65 cents per watt, this is in the United States, in the second half of 2024, down from $2.80 per watt earlier in the year. That's the lowest price Energy Sage has ever recorded. And what this means is that battery-backed systems, as well as solar, are now the cheapest they've ever been. Battery systems saw an even bigger price drop. That means that solar plus storage quotes in the US fell from $2.59 per watt in the first half of the year to $2.40 per watt in the second half of the year. That's a big difference. Tesla's Powerwall 3 is, well, it's playing a pretty big uh, part in this. The new version has an integrated inverter, so you're saving money by not having to buy an inverter, which shifts some of the cost from the solar quote, measured in dollars per watt, to the storage quote, measured in dollars per kilowatt hour. Now, when it all comes down to it, the truth is that um, the cost of batteries, home batteries, has gone down as well. These falling prices were driven by a variety of things. I mean, obviously you guys know battery cell prices have come down in the last two years by 50%, approximately 50% battery cell prices. A lot of that's driven by things like mass, mass manufacturing of lots of batteries. Of course, the more you make, the cheaper they are to manufacture. The, the declining cost of lithium, but overall equipment costs have dropped. Wood McKenzie says that residential solar panel prices were down 30% year over year. High interest rates and stable electricity prices have softened demand, apparently, which is crazy, pushing installers to offer more competitive pricing. In California, changes to the state's net billing tariff have pressured installers to drop prices, says Electric. Heading into 2025, solar and battery prices have never been lower on the energy stage marketplace and for homeowners, that means more affordable and accessible clean energy solutions, said Emily Walker. This creates a compelling record low benchmark to measure against as we begin to see the effects of shifting policies and tariffs take hold this year. So tariffs could be a problem for you guys in America. Your political situation could affect these numbers, could affect this in a negative way, unfortunately. Here in Australia, though, we're fortunate. Our government has not been, they've been re-elected and they are pro-renewable energy. So what that means is we'll continue to see solar panel prices go down, but battery prices will fall even more. And the reason for that is that the government has decided on a multi-billion dollar package to incentivize home batteries. That means you get approximately $5,000 discount on your home battery. So I've actually had one installed. And as you guys know, Resync Solar have installed my battery. Now, a lot of you guys have been curious, you've been asking, why have I put Resync Solar in the description of my um, YouTube videos? Why do I say you should use them? Well, some very good reasons. For one, they gave us a really good price. 
Two, they have helped support charities all over Australia. And in fact, every time you guys uh, use our link, they will donate to a charity, a cancer charity for us. So, and they've decided they're going to donate $500 for every person referred. So that's the thing that we've been talking about. It's been ongoing and they've already started doing that. already started donating to charity and that's huge to us. And as you can, you can understand for me, that's a big reason and, and I think a, good, a very good reason for why I've been doing that. Home solar panels are getting more powerful. Faster in the first half of 2023, 81% of quotes included panels rated under 400 watts. Plus, the efficiency was on average around 21%. It's gone up to about 23% now. The second half of 2024, that number of panels under 400 watts dropped to just 14%. In other words, almost all panels are now bigger than 400 watts. The shift is thanks to advances in panel efficiency and design. Either the panels themselves are bigger or they are simply more efficient. And as a result, people are getting better value for money. High wattage panels can reduce the number of panels needed on a home, saving space, installation time, and obviously just costs all around. And it also means that if you've got a small house, you can, you can get more solar on it than what you previously could, or a small roof, I should say. However, the tariffs, how will they affect it all? Well, Bloomberg reported in April that the US had a stockpile of 40 to 50 gigawatts of solar panels at the end of 2024. That might prevent any increase in cost this year. Next year though, well, things could change. Now, hopefully they don't, but they could. They very well could. It's very possible solar panel prices will go up over the next couple of years in the United States, which really, really sucks because solar panel prices in places like uh, Southeast Asia and China and Australia are continuing to fall. Now, installation costs, no, because that requires local labor, but the actual panel costs, they continue to go down. My suggestion, guys, if you live in the United States and you don't have a solar system, it's just do it immediately. The average savings per solar system installed last year, the average savings over the life of that system are 60000 US dollars. That's across all of America. That's looking at tens and t- tens of thousands of people who installed a solar system. So you'd be surprised on just how much money you'll save by getting one. My recommendation is why wait? Why not do it? immediately. Here in my hometown, Victoria, or my home state anyway, Australia's largest floating solar plant is about to be deployed. Now, a lot of people ask the question, why put solar panels on water? Well, here's why they do it. Here's why it makes a lot of sense. And here's why I'm pretty stoked to see the biggest floating solar plant go into operation in Warrnambool. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers and welcome everyone else here on this channel. I've been saying for a long time now, well, since I started this channel, that the electric revolution would happen very fast. The world's grids would transition to renewable energy by 2030 in the West, which I still believe will happen. People call me crazy but it will happen in Australia much quicker than people predict. Australia's last coal holdout, we were one of the biggest coal producers in the world. 